Hello everybody, this is Melee Movies Reborn, here to another Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness walkthrough episode. Today we're going to be starting out from CD number 44, and real quick I want to say you get CD number 44 on the stadium floor in the Fennec Stadium, just there on the floor for some reason. But this, we're going to start off, is Legendary Golems, Side A, and for some reason, again, you control the Legendary Dogs, just like with the Legendary Birds. You're gonna fight the legendary golems again with the legendary dogs. Now, for some reason, the legendary golems, I'm guessing, are way better than the legendary dogs. For some reason, I just really prefer the golems over the dogs. And I prefer the birds over the dogs. So really, my the legendary dogs are my least favorite legendary Pokemon line, you know? It's really it. But immediately you're gonna have Reiku and they're gonna have Red Rock. Immediately what you're gonna wanna do is protect because Red Rock knows explosion. And for some reason that's immediately his first thing is Oh my goodness, there's a Pokemon! Explode! 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 Die! But he I protected, so he's going to die. Now actually, this is where it gets pretty hard. Because um, some of this is actually pure luck. Uh, number one, you're going to want to keep using Thunder until, of course, you run out of PP. But uh, Reggie Ice is really just going to keep using Amnesia, and what that does is increases your special defense a lot. And so eventually, you know, you keep not doing enough damage, and eventually you'll just get screwed over. Ooh, I thought he was going to use more than one Amnesia. Guess not gonna start ice beaming and for some reason his ice beam is pretty pretty powerful more powerful than my thunder thunder and really again like I say it's pure luck it's very much pure luck because um, you know some of your your moves actually don't have that that great of accuracy and once they use amnesia really you're gonna get oh I missed again you're kidding me come on man Gosh. But, uh, you're eventually just gonna run out of PP or miss like I've been doing. Um, but for Reggie Ice, you're gonna wanna count on Entei. Either break use Thunder, but if Ent if he gets killed, then use uh, Entei's Fire Blast. Hopefully, this will kill him. Please kill him. Oh, you're kidding! You're kidding! You're kidding! Bro. Yay! Paralyzed. But keep, keep uh, fire blasting or stomping. Uh, once they raise their special defense too much, you can stomp. But of course, with Registeel, Steel, you don't want to do that because he is Steel type. And paralyzed again. Very cool. This stomp is going to take care of Registeel. Yeah, the last Pokemon we got to take care of is Registeel. Steel. Registeel Steel is actually pretty tough because he's got Earthquake, and again he has Amnesia. So they're just going to ra keep raising their special defense and screw you over unless you do enough damage. So let's try and fire blast, shall we? Fire blast! Please do a lot of damage, and it does. And if one more fire blast can hit, then uh, we'll probably be just about done. Your darn leftovers, of course you have that. Alright, fire. It keeps hitting, that's awesome. See, again, it's just almost pure luck. Awesome. It hit again. Earthquake. Crud. Oh no, bro. Yikes! Oh yeah, that's right. Registeel is not ground type, so it's not exactly super powerful. Come on, hit, please. Yes. All right. Registeel is gonna faint, and that's it for CD number 44. Again, probably one of the more luck-based of the battle CDs. It's actually, ah, you may not get it done in one run, but I did, which is pretty awesome. So with that said, we're going to see what we get, but then we're going to go straight towards CD number 45, which we're going to get to control the super awesome golems. 
Salic Berry. Salic Berry reversal combo. Yeah, endure reversal. Salic Berry. Yeah, that combo. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but you know, the golems were pretty powerful when you were fighting them. Uh, but, again, for some reason, they like putting things badly in your favor. So they, they immediately get Reiku, which is bad because he's going to keep thundering you until you die. Uh, but you notice that your Reiku did in fact have double team, and that's what he's going to be using for the first one or two turns. I'm not too sure. Um, but for the first two turns, when you have Reggie Ice, use Amnesia instead of attacking. Now that I think about that, it's actually pretty smarter. I don't know. Either Ice Beam or Amnesia, whichever one, because he's going to use. Uh, no, he's going to go straight to Thunderbolt. That's weird. Usually he uses double team. Don't paralyze, please. Don't paralyze. Yay! Amnesia. Again, Amnesia. One more Amnesia. And then we'll be uh, Ice Beaming him away. Amnesia. Yeah, I forgot what your name was, Reiku. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Let's do one more. One more Amnesia just to, just to make sure his attacks don't do crap damage. Amnesia. I just forgot what your name was again, bro. So now we're gonna ice beam, and hopefully, since he has, since he's used a whole lot of double teams, hopefully we won't miss. But we'll see. And of course, right off the bat, we miss. Huh. Thunderbolt, please do not paralyze. I beg of you. It's not doing any damage, but don't paralyze. Yes. Ice beam's hitting. Yay. Okay. Two more ice beams and he should be done. Sadly, after all of that amnesiaing, it's actually going to be all for naught when you fight Entei. Now, whereas you think you use Stomp, he actually... I think he knew Roar before, but he'll roar you away. So what you're really going to want to do once he throws out Entei is do as much damage as possible with uh, Regiasis Thunderbolt and then... Maybe, just maybe, he won't uh, use Roar. We shall see, shan't we? But Reiku's down. Seven turns, and Reiku survived that long. So now we got Entei and Suicune. Suicune's gonna be the hardest to take down for various reasons. But that's Thunderbolt, and for some reason, Entei is stomping. Usually he uses... Uh... Yeah, he usually uses Roar. I don't know why he's attacking like that. But, whatever. Uh, let's use Thunderbolt again. Probably actually should have used Counter Thunderbolt one more time. Doing extra damage is what I call it. It's like if your Pokemon's going to die anyway and he's doing a lot of damage, I call it extra damage. So, let's just use Amnesia, because we're not even going to do anything. It's impossible to survive. Reggie Ice, you have fulfilled your duties. Valiantly, I must say. But, Regirock is up next. And for some reason, Entei likes to use Flamethrower against Regirock. I don't know why. But with Regirock, you're either going to want to use Rock Slide or Earthquake. I prefer Earthquake, because Earthquake has 100 accuracy. Rock Slide tends to miss sometimes. And I was burned. So that's not even going to do all of its damage. <sighs> is some pretty bad luck. See? See? It lowers your attack. Darn you, burn. Curses. Foiled again. It's interesting once uh, it throws out Suicune. It's going to be one heck of a fight. As a matter of fact, you may not survive. Unless you know what you're doing. What is Registeel good for? Well, sometimes for attacking, other times for surviving, so to say. Let's see if we can't do one more thing of damage before Hydro Pump hits, but it doesn't. I'm going to die. Regirock! Couldn't help you, buddy, but you're awesome! Alright, now the for reals fight. You are going to be begging for your mother after this is done. Right off the bat, you're going to be wanting to using Toxic. Do not use Double Edge. I swear to God. Toxic. Toxic, Toxic, Toxic. 
That's what you're doing. Now, Suikun's gonna be using Hydro Pump on you a lot. How are you gonna survive that? Well, I know a few things. Maybe you should listen to me. That's why you're watching these videos, darn it. Hurt by poison? A little bit, but that'll turn into a lot after we use Amnesia. Why? I One of these Hydro Pumps really needs to miss, because if it keeps hitting, I am not gonna be surviving at all. Amnesia. Keep using Amnesia. After Hydro Pump has been hitting, keep using Amnesia. Especially after you use to Toxic first, then Amnesia. Yay, it missed! And once uh, Suicune runs out of PP for Hydro Pump, uh, he'll start using uh, Facade, which we all know what Facade does. Once your poison paralyzed or burned, it's double power, but Registeel makes it half power because it's not very effective, so it kind of goes back down. Um, but once that happens, you can start using Curse. Uh, yeah, Facade started. Yay! Do not die, Registeel. No critical hits, please. I beg of you. And my special defense is too high anyway. One more poison turn. So if Registeel can just hold on for one more turn, I'll win. Don't kill it, please! Yikes, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Curse. It's kind of unnecessary, but why not? And poison takes Suicune away from us. You can purify water, but not your blood, because you died of poison in your face. Alright, so CD number 45 has been completed. Pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. And I think if you do a double sided thing, you always get the same item you get for both sides. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a Salic Berry. Yep, I did it. So now we're going to do CD number 46. And that is one of my sister's favorites, just because she likes all the evolutions. Operation Zero. Take out Mew with six evolutions. And now, I've been looking at strategies as how to do this. And some people like to say that they uh, end with Espeon and Umbreon. Well, I'm going to show you a better strategy. And that might be shoving in the face of other people, but I do have a better strategy. Just keep watching and I'll show you. How to keep most of your evolutions alive. And th the first step always uh, pins on Mew actually thunderbolting Vaporeon. But real quick, CD number 46 is in uh, Weevil's empty seat on uh, Set of Dark Isle. But for Eevee, you're going to want to be using Bite and Vaporeon. You want to switch out for Jolteon. Because Jolteon is the only one who's faster than Mew due to it being electric type. And the reason why it's safe to switch out Vaporeon for Jolteon is because even if uh, he Thunderbolts Jolteon or Vaporeon, turns out it'll be uh, Jolteon's Volt Absorb. Um, but with everybody else, you're going to want to keep using, say, dark type moves like Bites. Well, with Jolteon, you're going to want to be using Thunder Wave. This is key to the strategy so that uh, Mew will always go last and you can get past its fastness. And, of course, it'll synchronize with Jolteon, but Jolteon's still faster than Mew. Unless, of course, he kills Jolteon right here, right now. And he does. Don't worry, every time it hits, it'll be an insta-kill. So, let's throw out Umbreon. So, with Umbreon, Umbreon and Espeon both know... Uh... What's it called? Dang it, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Substitute, that's right. Bites, so we'll use Substitute and Bites. Uh, with Embryon, you can also use Confuse Ray to stall a little time. That's always good. And another strategy you can do is, you know, keep using Bite so that every now and then you'll have a strategy of possibility, possibly making it cringe. And with Embryon, if you keep, uh, if you have the Confuse, Confusion, ah, oh, I'm not even, I'm rambling, man, I'm sorry. Um, if Embryon, confuses Mew, there's three chances every turn for it to either be stuck at Paralyze, hit with itself with Confusion, or to cringe from the bite. So that's actually a pretty good strategy. Try that out. See, I flinched! It's awesome! So now we'll use Confuse Ray in our spare turn since our substitute survived that last turn. So now we got our trap set. Bite, Confusion, and Paralyzation all on that Mew. 
And I've got another critical hit. That's fantastic. But our real heavy hitter is actually going to be uh, Flareon once we get Eevee out of the way. Thank God. After I said that, Eevee gets killed. But our heavy hitter of this entire thing is going to be Flareon, strangely. Because Flareon has high attack. And Flareon, is, everybody else knows bites and stuff like that. Well, Flareon knows, what to call, dang it, overheat, and also knows Shadow Ball, which are both physical moves. So taking advantage of its high attack. Very snazzy. Confusion, hit please. Darn you. Darn you. Don't kill Flareon. Yay. Awesome. That substitute survived. Now, Umbreon and Espeon, if they're both out, you can usually hold out with them. But if not, I recommend keeping Flareon and using Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball is the most powerful move against uh, Mew right now. Actually doing almost 35 damage. Pretty snazzy. And Substitute going off again. And Mew, it's only a matter of time before Mew kills, it kills itself. Ha, ah, you can't kill that Umbreon, I'm telling you. It's all futile. Flareon, one more Shadow Ball from it. Probably will finish him off after a bite. Up to dead. Wow, that actually did a whole lot of damage too. But Flareon will finish it off with a snazzy Shadow Ball. And that'll do it for this video since we just finished Battle CD number 46. Running up on my time. Uh, so if you guys like my videos, throw me a like, comment, subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that. Go to those links in the description. They go to some awesome places. I'll see you in the next video, but uh, real quick, I want to see if I'm right as to what item we get. I think we get very awesome item, Sacred Ash for Ho-Oh. Let us see. Awesome, yes. Yeah, that would have been probably stupid if I was wrong. But, anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. See you then.